Hey, hey, hello, welcome to my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Gultu Bam back with another collective reading for whoever needs it. We will see that what spirit has today and what they, what spirit want to tell you today. For which group of people today, spirit has a message. If you're going to resonate with this message, with this reading, this is for you. If it's not, let it go. Maybe this message is not for you. It's a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in my description box. You can reach out to me if you want to. Do not get scammed. I will never ever contact you. I will never reach out to you. Also, please share, like, and subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell. So whenever um, the right live reading will happen, you will know it. So let's see what's happening. So we have our realization. Um, there's a epiphanies going on here, understandings and awakenings. Um, we also have clinging, hanging on, obsessing, spying. Okay, there's someone who's definitely spying on you and this person is obsessed with you this could be also your energy if you're a female here or feminine energy watching this video you could be really obsessed with someone watching spying what's happening and you could be also realizing but this could be someone else i think just take what resonates you can switch the rules we have a longing yeah great uh, craving itching and wanting this is someone who's really longing for you this could be someone that you have a past connection with this is someone from your past who's obsessed with you watching you spying on you checking on you maybe watching your stories watching your post, what you're doing, obsessed with you. You could be recently glowing up and this person is really seeing you, that you really glow up. We also have, this could be someone that you have a past life with. So this person is, is realizing this deja vu energy is like, they feel the connection with you and it's really intense. It's really something that they cannot get you out of their head. They cannot stop thinking about you. This person is longing for you. This person is missing you. This person is still, uh, I think, stuck on you. They cannot. They're holding on to you. This person is not letting you go. They're clinging on this connection. Yeah, this person is also conflicted. You maybe have a conflict with this person, argument with this person. This is someone who really need to make a decision. They also have a hot and cold energy. This is also someone. They maybe have a multiple choice. Maybe that's why they're confused. Are there really like a lot of things going on in this person's life? Emotional storm. This person is definitely feeling a lot of um, unstable energy emotionally, I think. Even though they maybe um, try to forget you and trying to talk to other options, other people, but they cannot replace you. That's what I'm feeling. This person is feeling a lot of stress, tension. They could be also overwhelmed right now because of these arguments. They have a lot of tension and stress because of this connection, I think. I think this is someone who realized that they cannot replace you no matter what. You are the one. They cannot replace you. Yeah, divine feminine here. You could be in watching this video or this person is your divine feminine. And we know that divine feminine energy is about, you know, someone that who could be in their emotions, in their feelings, and they're not taking action. Because the yin energy is like balance, love, emotions, feelings, affection. Um, not taking action. It's like passive. We also have a running. Yeah, this is someone who ghosted you disappointed you or run away from you interesting you could be walked away from this person yeah sorrow loss grief depression some of you this is you you feel rejected by this person but this is this person run away and ghosted you and you thought you were rejected by this person and you're you are in your own pain here still surviving from this um, rejection but the problem is this person is a runner. They're emotionally unavailable and unstable. This person is conflicted about relationship. They're not sure. But you have a past life connection with this person. We also have escaping. So you could be avoiding this person. You block this person already. You walked away. You're pushing away. Or this person pushed you away. And now you're like, pushed you away, walked away, run away, or ghosted you. And you are in a sorrow and deep rejection of this person. And this person is also, it's like you both are, somehow mirroring each other but hmm. this could be a relationship that scars okay between you and this person there could be witchcraft involved here or negative thinking negative mind or there could be an evil eye this person feel cursed they feel like why they cannot get you why they're running away from you they could be realizing that you're the one but why it's like this person is keep making mistakes keep they want to fix it, but at the same time, they just keep making um, the wrong decision. They keep avoiding it. They keep running. It's like they, 
they want you they want to be with you but the problem is this person feel cursed in the in the love in the but they feel this chemistry with you they feel this spark they feel this passion and desire for you you really make this person so happy and you give them this butterflies and spark that they don't feel with anyone but at the same time this person keep repeating the same mistake they keep doing the same things and you could be feeling rejected by this person there could be a long distance connection or right now you are on the distance from each other like emotional distance maybe so let's see from the tarot now what's happening what will happen next now what will happen next so we already got the story right tower reverse this person god the tower and sun reverse here this person could be aries leo Sagittarius could be uh, Pisces. I'm also getting Scorpio, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, any fire sign. By the way, this, the tower and the sun reverse. This person is really have a big ego and pride. Okay, it's like storm warning. This person is really angry, mad, and irritated and bittersweet about you. But they, they're not seeing, they're like too child, too childish, the sun reverse, they're too childish because of their ego and pride, like they're blaming you. They maybe think that you are the one who got away, but the problem is they are childish. This person is not letting down their, this is, this is like their ego, their pride, they're processing through their ego. And they're really holding on to this tower, like they need to really crumble this, like, but they're not. They're, they maybe have a lot of fear and anxiety and tension and stress going on here. They feel like everything is going to be fall out. I think this is their fear. They're on trauma. And because with the tower and the sun coming together, this person could have a child trauma. Childhood trauma. And it's like a trauma bond. Like, they feel like they're not safe. They're not safe. It's not, it's not safe to open up to you. It's not safe to take action. It's not safe to be free with you or be vulnerable with you. They don't want to show you they're this side. This person has a trauma. They're really connected. There could be a child involved maybe for some of you or they are too childish to be honest. They're not mature up. This person is really immature. Ace of Wands. Um, yes, there's a spark. There's a lot of passion. There's a desire. Like they, and look at the butterfly. Like this person is really want to start all over again with you wants a new beginning but they don't know how look two of pentacles they don't know how they're juggling they maybe have a multiple options to be honest or they could have other stuffs going on here maybe that's why yet still i think this person is thinking about it juggling you they don't know how to make things right they don't know Four of Pentacles, I told you, this person is really holding on, like they're really holding on to you. Now also I'm getting here, this person does not want to let you go. They don't want to accept it. Look at this clinging and holding on to you, really possessive about you. They think you're their soulmate, but at the same time, they, they really don't want to make things right. This person is holding the truth here, holding back the truth. They're holding back their desire and passion for you. Look at this. Mm, this person is juggling. They have a lot of anxiety, fear. If this is not you feeling rejected, this is them maybe. They have a fear of rejection. They feel like you're going to reject them. Because they run away and escape you. They push you away. So they think that now you're going to do this. So somehow I'm feeling with the two of pentacles, the tables are turns now. Whatever they did to you, it's happening to them now. This person is not happy, definitely. The high priestess is a secret. Look, this person does not want to reveal the secret. They want to keep it secret to them only. This person is also playing the childish, mindish games, okay? They could be uh, Pisces. For some of you, you could be intuitive, psychic, light worker, healer, or you could be watching a lot of tarot readings to basically know what's happening. You even get a personal reading on this person. We also have witchcraft. So some of you, either this is you, you could be into witchcraft, or this person could be, uh, maybe there's a curse here. Maybe this person X involved, or the baby mama involved here. Maybe there's someone who, uh, so someone else here with the high priestess is a secret. There is another woman or man involved or someone else involved here who does not want to, both of you to be together. Hmm. Maybe this person put the spell on this person. There's a secret here. I think this person is definitely keeping some secret from you. You don't know about it. 
or this person does not want to show you their vulnerable emotional side. The high priestess is also very feminine energy here. Look at this divine feminine. So either this could be you, you're really trying to focus on your divine feminine energy, or you could be dealing with someone, I don't know, man or woman, whoever it is, they are in their divine feminine energy. They're not taking action. They're just sitting there, being there, just watching you from afar, spying, stalking. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you maybe walked away from this person, or this person walked away, ran away, ghosted you. Definitely this is a separation energy. There's a definitely no contact situation. Eight of Cups, this person... They also need to let some, something or someone go before in order to be with you, in order to start a new beginning with you. They need to let someone or something go from their past. Queen Pentacles, that's you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be focusing on yourself. You walked away from this person. You choose to be, you choose to walk away. And you, you may be giving them silent treatment. You could be born into a dog ear. Yeah, six of wands. Once you will decide to move on or, or move away from this person, detach yourself, focus on yourself and divine feminine, this person will come chasing you and running towards you. I think this person is coming. If you're already silent and not talking to this person and not giving them any, any, like no message, no contact, even you're not reacting on their behavior or they're really trying to get your attention, you're not doing it. So just being silent there. So this person is definitely coming. This person want to talk to you. And you will win it. With the sun and six of wands, this person could have a repetition or image. Maybe that's why they're afraid. That That's why they want to keep it secret. They don't want to reveal it. Because they feel if once they're going to take action or once they will do it. Or once anybody know that, that they're dating. It's like their life will be crumbled. Or their something is going to be fall out. So this person could be definitely afraid of, look at this, the death, afraid of losing things, afraid of endings. But this person also does not want to end this relationship with you. They don't want it. They don't want to end this. We have the emperor, the daddy here, Aries energy here. This person is confused. The moon, the more confusion. They have no idea what's going on. They maybe don't know if you are going to give them another chance or not. This person could be Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The moon and high priestess, definitely this is going to be a very telepathic, very romantic, very like something hidden from you. Something is going to reveal to you and it is going to be very shocking because this person is holding a biggest truth. It's like this is going to be revealing the truth here. That's why this person is holding back this truth. Like they don't want you to reveal it because they know that they have to lose something. Something is going to end in their life or they're waiting for something to end so they cannot, something to finish or end. This person could be also going through divorce or separation maybe, but there's a kids involved, maybe that's why. Because the emperor is the father, so this person could be a father or single parent, I don't know. For some of you, this is someone who maybe have commitment issues. Because this person is really confused with the two of swords and moon, like what is this connection? Why they're feeling this way towards you? Because again, it's past life. You have your soulmates. You came up into each other's life for a reason. This person is really drawn to you. This person feels the chemistry. This person feels the spark. This person feels like you are the one. But it's not easy. This person is definitely going to lose a lot of things. Or they, they have to lose something in order to be with you. In order to be, you know, to pursue you. And this person is definitely going to pursue you. We have an emperor and six of wands. This person could be very successful. Uh, this person could be a business owner, entrepreneur, could have an image, could have a repetition. This person could be in a public eye. Does not have to be. But I think this person has a power and control. They are very masculine. And this person definitely going to reveal to you. You could be also seeing this person in your dreams and you are wondering why you're seeing this person in your dreams. Similarly, this person is getting the signs and dreams about you. Because again, you have a past life with this person. Some of you, this is a new person, okay? You may be going to end a relationship with someone from your past or situation. You may maybe push away someone else and in order to be with this new person who is coming towards you, you're really looking for new beginnings. You're really wanting a new beginning, either with this person or there's someone coming else. But whoever this person is who has eyes on you, obsessed with you, spying you, checking onto you, I think this person cannot let you go. This person cannot forget you, cannot replace you. But you are about to enter in a new phase of your life. You're winning. Either this person is coming back and you're going to win, obviously. And others of you, this is the new person coming. You're about to meet and you will be officially together. Because this person is going to pursue you. This person is not going to be like your ex. But you need, and maybe this is your energy. You need to walk away from something or someone. You need to let go. Something needs to end here. Either in this person's life, in your life. 
then you will meet this true love, your soulmate. So that's your reading. I'm gonna see you later. Bye. God bless you all.